Scandalously, users of GPT-4 and ChatGPT have been voicing their growing concerns about a perceived decline in performance of these AI models. However, an open AI staff member's rebuttal to these claims has added a layer of intrigue to this unfolding narrative. A flurry of discussions on forums like Hacker News and Reddit revealed these growing complaints from users regarding the deteriorating performance of both AI models, with users saying subtle signs were spotted, such as the color change of the logo from black to purple and faster text generation, which some interpreted as evidence of reduced computation. Logan Kilpatrick, an active member of the OpenAI developer community, decided to address these concerns head-on. In a public statement on Twitter, he ensured that the GPT-4 model behind the API has remained unchanged since mid-March. So, any observed alterations in the output, he explained, are primarily due to the inherent non-deterministic nature of the technology. However, the narrative takes a twist when it comes to the GPT-4 integration for ChatGPT. Kilpatrick admits that models are in a state of constant evolution, but as a regular user himself, he claims not to have perceived any negative changes and encourages open communication and feedback, but when it comes to specific reports of decreased performance, his response remains cryptic, with nothing concrete to offer. But the uncertainty still hangs in the air. While external GPT-4 applications should perform uniformly since mid-March, ChatGPT could potentially exhibit performance fluctuations, thanks to the technology's non-deterministic character. But is there another angle to this story? Could the alleged performance degradation be tied to OpenAI wanting to enhance GPT-4's efficiency? Just remember, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has previously emphasized the importance of increasing efficiency and reducing costs in the upcoming months. Or perhaps, could the perceived decline in performance simply be the fading of the initial wow factor, leading users to observe the AI system's shortcomings more keenly? After the initial hype, it's common for reality to set in, leading to potential disillusionment. Meanwhile, as media outlets probe the matter, a request for an official statement from OpenAI on the matter from May 31st has still not been answered. In yet another turn, users of ChatGPT have raised concerns about noticeable performance issues since the last two updates. GPT-4, which has been touted for its intelligence, appears to have fallen short of expectations. Users have reported a rise in computation speed, which might hint at a decrease in computational power, coupled with unexpected reasoning errors and memory lapses. The accusations leveled against OpenAI suggest a perceived lack of transparency in the company's operations. Five specific instances of failure cited by users include the OpenAI model's sudden inability to differentiate between formal and informal language, mixing up concepts as different as a tree and a pond during a conversation and a noticeable decline in memory retention during text-based dialogues. Furthermore, some users have noted that GPT-4 now falters on basic tasks that it previously handled well. In one instance, a user observed the AI model erroneously responding in English to a prompt meant for translation, indicating that the AI had confused the text for translation with instructions. However, the same user noted that the AI model seemed to correct itself and correctly understand the prompt later in the day. What is causing this shift in performance remains unknown, but users are demanding answers from OpenAI, with the recent allegations suggesting that OpenAI might be discreetly reducing capacity after drawing in customers with an impressive tool. Users feel the onus is on the company to transparently address these concerns. While uncertainties swirl around AI developments like those at OpenAI, Technology is reshaping other sectors, such as the art world, with innovative platforms. AI-generated art took the world by storm last year, with companies and capitalists investing millions. Not just in generative AI, also in classic, physical art, which saw record-setting auction totals plastered across headlines throughout 2022. Even as most markets and investors experienced the worst year since the financial crisis, it's extraordinary timing for companies already quietly at work in the art market for years, like one that's used innovation to bring art's financial power to everyday investors. Not AI art, works from legends like Picasso and Banksy. See, Masterworks' team of experts created a unique database of auction prices from the last 50-plus years, allowing them to purchase art that they believe will appreciate in value. They break that art into shares, listing them on their platform. 
Each of Masterworks' 13 exits to date have been for a profit. $45 million of art sold, the net proceeds returned directly to investors. With 700,000 plus users, paintings can sell out in minutes. But you get priority access at the link below. Meanwhile, Nvidia is making headlines with its bold venture into artificial intelligence for the gaming sector as the company deploys its innovative avatar cloud engine, known as ACE, which was initially designed for service industry applications, but will now serve to redefine interactions with NPCs in video games. Nvidia's ACE unites three remarkable AI tools, Nemo, Reva, and Omniverse Audio to Face. Nemo equips game developers with a powerful large language model, which can be customized with character-specific dialogues and backstories. Concurrently, Reva offers robust speech recognition and text-to-speech conversion capabilities, fostering live conversations with Nemo. To top it off, audio to face transforms Reva's audio output into realistic facial animations for in-game characters, notably within Unreal Engine 5's meta-human characters via Omniverse links. A collaborative effort with AI startup Convey gives us a glimpse into what a video game character powered by Ace might look like. In a striking demonstration, the NPC named Jin responds to players in natural language, displaying incredible real-time responsiveness consistent with a pre-established backstory. What makes this possible are the optimized AI models in ACE, varying in size, performance, and quality, ensuring low latency for immersive, responsive interactions. NVIDIA assures that the ACE for Games Foundry service will aid developers in fine-tuning models, which can then be deployed via the DGX Cloud, GeForce RTX PCs, or on-premises for real-time inferencing. But NVIDIA's AI innovations are going well beyond the gaming arena, as the company also revealed its DGX EH200 AI supercomputer, loaded with 256 Grace Hopper chips, totaling 144 terabytes of memory, and boasting Exaflop AI performance. This formidable machine trains GPT-3 over two times faster than a DGXH-100 cluster, according to NVIDIA. The company reported that tech giants Google, Meta, and Microsoft are amongst the first to get their hands on the DGXEA-200, set to evaluate the platform's potential. With these advancements, NVIDIA is ushering in a new era of AI integration within the gaming industry and beyond, leveraging NVLink interconnect technology and the switch system. The supercomputer amalgamates the power of 256 GH200 superchips to act as a single colossal GPU. Consequently, it generates a jaw-dropping one exaflop of performance and a currently unmatched shared memory capacity. When pitted against its predecessor, the NVIDIA DGX100, the DGX EH200 stands out with almost 500 times more memory, which significantly augments its AI capabilities.